hello all welcome to bro billionaire so this is bank nifty's daily chart as you can see on my screen we have plotted elliott waves one two three four five so each elliott wave has five moves and we seem to have completed one five wave sequence from 16,116 to 41,829 okay so that's what our previous view was even uh, previously we said that after breaking this point two three six fibonacci the next exchange uh, next retracement level is 32,000 which is 0.38 to Fibonacci so 0.38 to Fibonacci carries special meaning so 0.283 and 0.236 these are the two Fibonacci's where the shallow retracement happens means the fall is uh, small when uh, when the price reaches to these levels 0.236 and 0.382 so uh, compared to nifty bank nifty is uh, going much faster on the downside right so that's what we are able to see here so nifty even have not reached till uh, 0.236 but bank nifty has already broken that level and uh, traded pretty much below that and now heading towards 0.38 to fibonacci so that's what we can conclude here right so this is nearly at the channel break so this is the channel that we have plotted right so this is nearly at the channel break and yeah it attempted to break it once and now consolidating but yeah eventually it, it should break and go towards these levels so that's the positional view on the bank nifty here you can see that MACD had three negative divergences so that's why it's looking uh, pretty much bearish on the downside considering these divergences and uh, it nearly fell towards the channel low right and broken the 0.236 so now this is our view positionally and uh, yeah next is uh, when we check uh, an hourly chart so when I pick this as a swing high and this as a swing low and plot the Fibonacci you can see that there was a rejection point a rejection from 0.38 to Fibonacci so uh, when we are claim uh, when we are working on the downside we have to plot the Fibonacci so this is the Fibonacci retracement tool right so this is the Fibonacci retracement tool when you use that and plot from this point to this point you get 0.38 to Fibonacci as this number so now it is again reject got rejected from this level so it's it is again becoming uh, bearish you could say on the downside so this is one move that is completed abc and now a b and c might be in progress so this structure is not at all looking bullish so there is no reversal signals from here so definitely we are uh, still going to have one more leg of correction it can be uh, it can be going up like this okay in couple of days going towards the channel high then starting to dip uh, or, or or directly from here itself it would start the dip so one two three four five towards the level that we have given one two three four five it can do like this so both possibilities are open so tomorrow uh, or, or on monday we have to wait and watch break of this level okay so once it breaks this level we can assume uh, it is going on the downside but yeah the the risk uh, so, so the reward will be limited on the bank nifty since it already had fall this much so yeah let's let's take the 15 minute chart and try to understand what is happening here so on 15 minute chart as i said this is a b and c wave has been completed so c has three, uh, five internal moves one two three four and five these are clearly visible so we can say that it has started the dip so one doubt that we have is uh, is of the move internal move of this okay so when you plot a fibonacci from these numbers so when you pick this number 30 uh, previous low as 34,018 and 35,480 uh, when you plot Fibonacci on this you get 0 0.600 uh, retracement as 34,575 okay nearly that number so from there it gave the bounce so now there is a doubt there is a bit of doubt here on the further dip of the bank nifty so yeah what we are assuming is this is wave A and this is wave B and C wave should come okay that is one possibility if if it is a abc correction then it won't break this low it will bounce back from here okay if it's a just another round of consolidation we will have to uh, like wait and see uh, how much like from where which point it gives the bounce back if it again breaks this point 600 fibonacci this means it is weak and then in that case we should be able to break this particular low okay so that's what we can assume uh, yeah but that that will be a risky approach uh, towards this index next okay so since uh, it already gave once bounce if it breaks again this particular 0.600 Fibonacci then it is a bearish case and then I'm going to think this as this is not safe in that case okay 34,018 previous low so previous low break chance will be there so then in that case this can be one two 
3 4 and 5 so like that it can uh, it can do the uh, downside so even the price action will uh, tell you right uh, that once it breaks the previous uh, support then it starts the dip so yeah definitely uh, we should look for this levels so if on monday opens gap down and breaks this level then this trend on the downside will be strong we have to look, look for the lower opportunities like 33000 so when you plot fibonacci extension on these num uh, on these numbers so uh, when you connect these numbers and plot the fibonacci extension what you get is this number right 0.600 fibonacci so this is the way to calculate the length of fifth wave so this can be a fifth wave where we could be seeing that it will have internally five moves like this okay going like this one two three four five uh, three four five so i'm more Move if it breaks this level 34,580 uh, something, right? So I'll be more more in favor of this particular level. So then in that case, this will be uh, your resistance or a stop loss, you could say, right? So yeah. And now what what if if, if opens uh, gap up? Okay. Then in that case, we have to assume certain things and uh, wait to see whether it breaks this. Then in that case, more consolidation will happen. So yeah, this will be termed as a b c move right so this will be called as w and then a b c this is called x okay and then is if it's going to go up then it will be a it will be b again and it will be c so this will break the uh, top of top of previous top and make the y correction then in that case it will be a, a consolidation so here you will not be able to you will not be able to gain properly or you could say it will be very tricky to identify so on monday you have to watch these two levels break simply you have to watch these two levels break so if it breaks this level okay then again it can be go going up and making the one more high so that is the possibility so here if you see the retracement here as well it has got rejected from nearly 0.600 fibonacci okay so it didn't went that much uh, 35,135 but yeah 35,075 itself it got rejected so uh, if it breaks this so there is a good chance that it will go up so a strong gap of opening you could say uh, somewhere here and then breaking this level can confirm as the trend on the upside so these are a couple of possibilities so there are two possibilities that I said so once it breaks this level once it breaks this we can look for the downside breaking towards uh, breaking towards 33,275 right yeah uh, so like this we can expect and the second possibility is this is a b okay and if it breaks this again then it will be c it will go up and make one more high so that possibility is also open so yeah that's how we should look we should be looking at and if it gaps up and opens uh, and, and breaks this high right let's see the target okay so it is going towards Okay, let me zoom it a bit. So we can assume that it is going towards making this high, these two highs. Okay, so 35,470, 480, or 35,600. So these are the two levels it can go as a more correction or more consolidation wave. So yeah, A, B, C. So we discussed both the cases. So uh, that's uh, that's all on the bank nifty front. So hope you like any doubts ask in the comments thank you have a great day